power, black power, black power, black power. No, man, I don't fuck with this dude. I'm just, you know, I don't, you know. But uh, hey, hey, my my people, my people. I'm, you know, I, you know, I hang out with y'all white dudes. I'm cool with y'all. You know, you know, I mean, black power. If you are a hypocrite, then you are a memorial to the everlasting shame of your father. You are a memorial. They say that you ain't just did the shit. You became a statue. Now, somebody said to me, well, Jay, what about the guns? The guns, Jay. Why do you have to have the guns? Y'all saw that. Have y'all seen the video where I went to the, uh, when I went to Hasim Nzinga's funeral and they interviewed the, the Middle Eastern guy who had the shop and he was on the phone trying to call the police because he had never seen so many black people with guns legally. And they said, well, what's wrong? He was scared to death. I, I've never seen anything like this. Motherfucker, you ain't even from here. Matter of fact, y'all people ain't been free. Y'all got free in 64. Free. It says right here in the book. Let me help y'all out. It says instruct him in the bearing of arms and in the art of combat and defense. Let me say it again. It says instruct him. Young men, are you listening? Instruct him in the bearing of arms and in the art of combat and defense for what use is it to teach him wisdom and to instruct him in skill and show him a good way of life unless he has the ability to defend and retain those things i have just shown you in the ancient scriptures why the nfac has to be created first before we start rebuilding Black Wall Street, before we start talking about buying back the block, before y'all start talking about financial empowerment, before you start going to all these fucked up ass conferences and meaningless uh, conversations y'all having with no teeth, you got to first be able to defend what you're doing. But that just seen confirmation right here in the book. But y'all don't want to do that, do you? Do you really? I mean, you know, maybe I was the only one that thought that my peoples was ready. Maybe that was just me. Maybe I was the only one sitting around saying, I don't had it up to here. I know y'all did. Y'all out in the street marching around with the shit. That's all y'all want to do is walk around. OK. Instruct him in the bearing of arms and in the art of combat and defense. For what use is it to teach him wisdom, to instruct him in skill? And show him a good way of life unless he has also has the ability to defend and retain these things. It is not futile and not a pitfall for his feet to instruct him to defend the weak, to fight for justice and to oppose the oppressor unless he has been given the ability and the strength to do so. Think about what I just said. Let me pose the question. Is it not futile? Is it not a pitfall? To instruct him to defend the weak, to fight for justice, and to oppose the oppressor, unless he's given the ability and the strength to do it. I want you to go out here and fight for justice. No justice, no peace. That's what I want you to do. But I haven't taught you how. So that's why a lot of y'all go out and do what the fuck you've seen us doing for the last 5, 10, 20 years, 60, I don't give a fuck how long. Because ain't nobody showed you the other way. But when somebody does come along to show you the other way, you don't want to do that because you've been brainwashing to thinking that black people and guns must be negative. They still running that same narrative on you right now. That's what CNN just did. And a lot of y'all going to fall for it. And fuck around and get a lot of innocent people killed. Young man, are you listening? Black boys, black young men, where are you? Would you send him against a arm? Excuse me. Would you send him against a lion with a twig? That's what's in the book. Would you send him against a lion with a twig? Cause that's what y'all doing. If you're not joining the NFAC after this, then you're just a victim. Are you going to instruct your son to fight for a cause and send him out to do combat unarmed? Would you give him possessions, home and honor, and then deny him the skill to defend himself? The law decrees that every desirable thing must be struggled for and then defended when attained. Nothing that, that is that nothing that is good 
comes easily or is easily held. If you don't know what I'm reading, I'm in the book of morals and precepts. This was written 5,000 years ago for black people. These are black people talking. It was that important that they put it down in indestructible word. They don't teach you this in the slave master church, do you? Somebody say, unveil the secrets, black man. I'm going to say it again. The law decrees that every desirable thing must be struggled for. They're not going to let us just walk out of here, y'all. They're not going to let us have nothing that we keep crying about that we want. Remember, anything that comes to you easy is not what you're supposed to have. It says it has to be struggled for. And then you got to fight to keep it. Give your son confidence in himself and in his people. Give him pride in his nation and in his kinfolk. I'm done. I'm going to read this. See that You can't get in these ancient texts and it not, it not blow you away. They don't make a mystery. They tell you the truth. It's liberating, isn't it? It says, give your son confidence. Young man, have confidence in yourself. Stop letting people tell you what you are not. And you tell them what you are. Stop letting people tell you about your people what they ain't. And you tell them what they is. Stop telling people that you ain't got nothing to be proud of. And tell them, I'm proud just because I exist. And tell them, if I'm proud of me and I'm proud of my kinfolk, we might not be perfect, but damn it, it, look, I'm a jag and he's just a jag that needs some work. Instill into him by example, the love of learning. If he lacks intelligence, he has hands. Teach him a skill. Teach him to bear all things manfully. The good with reserve, misfortune and with fortitude and with disaster and with courage. Teach him to think and to query and to reason. Teach him to rely upon his own judgment and be self-sufficient within himself. These are the things I'm giving to you this morning, young black men. Hold your head up and listen to what I just said. Learn to think and to ask questions and to reason. Stop following the crowd. You know, one of the things that I find interesting is that there are some people who are so unintelligent that they believe that only weak-minded people follow the NFAC. These are some of the most intelligent, critically thinking people I've ever met, not counting the weak ones that have already been sifted away and can never come back. So you can stop picking up the phone, calling NFAC members, trying to talk them out of what they made up their mind to do. It shows how it shows your fear. It shows that you're a weakling and anyone who follows you is a weakling also. But these young black men are not. You see, they, you can't tell them some bullshit and they're going to believe it. Because like they say, when you lean on your own understanding, you make a fool out of yourself. You better, it's better to go get wisdom and find out. It goes on to say, and I'm going to wrap this up. It says you cannot teach your son courage and duty, fortitude and affection, temperance and diligence. I'm going to say it again. You cannot teach your son courage, duty, fortitude, and affection, temperance, and diligence. These things he will inherit from you by example. Therefore, let your every word and deed in his presence be considered. Look what he said. You can't teach courage to him. He's going to look at you. Your children are looking at you right now, black man. And you're trying to talk like you brave, but they don't see no brave action. They hear you say you down for the movement, but they don't see you acting like you down for the movement. They hear you say how you ain't going to take no shit off nobody and how you will bust your guns and fuck a nigga up. But they watching how you cower and you acquiesce to the white man. They're watching you and every young black man that's listening to me this morning. I need you in the NFAC. All of you all that think that you don't have direction. I need you in the NFAC. All of you all that are thinking that we don't have any structure. and We don't have a mission, but we got all this energy. I need you in the NFAC. I need the foundation of the future of the black nation. In the NFAC. Sisters, y'all just got to park it for this morning. Young women, I will talk to you on another day. But today I'm talking to young black men. 
Yeah, I know some of y'all might be in gangs right now, but that's cool. You're still eligible to be in the NFAC. I know a lot of y'all don't know what's happening because ain't nobody gave you this type of information before. Some people said to see a man, you got to be a man. And a lot of y'all ain't never heard a man talk to you before. So the first time you hear it, you might get in your feelings and get offended. But that's not your nature. Where did you get that from? It says right here in the book, you had no business in the woman's chambers. It goes on to say that you're going to learn all of these things by example. The way of life you inherited was that made by the generation of your father. The life your sons will be made by the generations, by their generations, by your generations. Will they be reproach or will they be praise for you? We are creating the generation of tomorrow. The same way, young man, your children will create the generation of their tomorrow. If there's any of us left. I closing the book of morals and precepts, I give praise to the most high. I now am going to speak one last time about this particular issue. And I'm going to also talk a little bit in detail about the formation that is going to occur in Lafayette, Louisiana on October the 3rd of this year. To all of the young men who have heard what I've said, you play this back. You play it back again and again. And when you get a chance, I want you to come and shake my hand and say, teach black man. And then I will know that we have reached a point where we can begin to move forward. I am going to end this segment and I will come back, but I want to chop this segment off so that you can listen to this all by yourself. I'll be right back. Because we got some other stuff to talk about. NFAC, I need you on deck. Y'all have a great day, but I will see y'all back for part three.